Hello, my name is Vivian Liu. I'm Wish's Chief Financial Officer and the Chief Operating Officer. Thank you for joining us today during your busy holiday season. We have merchants tuning in from all over the world for this summit, and I couldn't be more excited to share some of the changes we have made this year and all the new features to look forward to. I'd like to start with a few key takeaways. As the global economy continues to experience uncertainty due to geopolitical risks, high inflation, and interest rate hikes, which will remain intent on improving our operational efficiency with a particular focus on enhancing our core marketplace capabilities. Building upon our much strengthened WISH Foundation, we're actively working to improve the experiences of all our users, customers, and merchants alike. Finally, during these challenging economic times, we see green shoes in a number of operational metrics, which I will elaborate on later. Enhancing our marketplace means providing improved experiences across the board for our users. At a high level, we are creating better browsing and discovery experiences for our customers, improving the quality and the compliance of our product listings, working to improve product category management, and developing a robust and a comprehensive merchandising campaign. You will hear much more about these initiatives from my colleagues later in today's presentation. This year, we introduced a number of initiatives that help us set new standards for both buyers and merchants. On the merchant side, we became an invite-only platform, introduced the WISH standards program, and doubled down on our policy enforcement efforts. We are committed to continuing our efforts to create the type of marketplace that both merchants and users are proud to be part of. In addition to creating a cleaner platform for our users, we will continue to invest in some of our top product categories. Wish is focused on becoming an online destination for customers who are searching to make purchases in categories related to home and life. Our five major categories are fashion, beauty and health, home, hobbies, and electronics. As you have already heard and will continue to learn more about, we intended to service our products through strategic merchandising campaigns. We will also work towards more personalized category browsing and navigation experiences so that we can better guide our customers in their shopping journey. Having a diverse selection of products within those top five categories will be integral to providing our customers a fun and exciting shopping experience that we cannot do without our merchants. As part of our efforts to help merchants better expose and promote their products, I'd like to touch on the many promotional and advertising opportunities we have developed in 2022 for our merchants. I'm genuinely excited that we have been able to build out this new suite of tools for our merchants. I'd like to encourage you to take advantage of promotions and product exposure opportunities through the Merchant Promotions platform and Product Boost. With our new entry points and the diverse opportunities for discounts and promotions, your products can become even more attractive to our customers. We have kicked those tools into high gear over the 2022 holiday season, and we can't wait to share some of the positive results with you. On this slide, you will see a high-level chart that shows some of the transaction growth we are already seeing. Later, Sarah Luo and Judy Zhu will share much more detail about how you can leverage these features to your advantage. One theme that you will hear running through every presentation today, we're diligently working to improve experiences for both users and merchants. Three improvements that I feel extremely positive about are the fashion experience, which brings fashion to the forefront of Wish, systems that are providing faster delivery times for Wish products, and finally, our new commission structure. Let me share a little bit more about the three initiatives. First, more about our fashion experience. If you haven't heard about the Wish fashion experience, now is the time to learn more, especially if you sell apparel. 
we see an excellent opportunity to become an e-commerce destination for clothing, shoes, and accessories. Women's fashion in particular allows us to leverage our merchants' existing supply chain while also attracting a new set of fashion merchants with unique value-driven product ranges. Our revamped women's fashion experience is now available to all US Android users and it will be gradually rolled out to iOS users soon. The revamped fashion experience will be expanded into the jewelry and accessory categories early next year. Customers can now filter and sort based on how merchants upload their products. So far, with 2,700 merchants participating in the experience and 160,000 featured items, we are seeing positive results. Our GMV and the buyers are also up. One of our most important areas of focus is logistics. My colleagues will go into further details in later presentation, but I wanted to share some of the fantastic improvements we have already made and how we will continue building upon those next year. In 2022, we invested in two primary areas of focus. Firstly, we have worked diligently to decrease time to door for customers. We have brought our time to door average down by five days, a dramatic improvement. Secondly, we have been improving on-time delivery rate for customers. I'm incredibly proud to share that our on-time delivery rate is up to 92%. One of our big focuses for next year will be on forward deployment through our unit inventory and global logistics programs. You will hear more about that and the other upcoming initiatives from my colleague Michael later in today's presentation. In alignment with building relationships with you, our merchant community, I'd like to take a moment to speak to our new commission structure that was implemented earlier this year. Our new progressive commission structure is more closely aligned with other major e-commerce marketplaces and has been designed to help merchants of all kinds succeed on Wish. Merchants selling products at a higher price point and in Wish's focus categories are better empowered to stay competitive by receiving lower commission rates. However, the price point of an item represents only one factor of our progressive commission structure. Other factors include order destination, product category, and a merchant's wish standards tier. The goal of the new structure is to incentivize high quality merchants and product listings on the wish platform. During the last quarter, our total revenues were down, mostly driven by lower ad spend and our new pricing strategy which became fully effective in Q3. However, I'm glad to note that we are seeing green shoots. For example, our order volume grew in Q3, the first sequential quarterly growth since Q1 2021. We are optimistic that over time, more operational metrics will show similar improvements. If you are data focused, this is a part of the presentation for you. Some of our additional turnaround green shoes include, our monthly active users have seen their first sequential quarterly growth since Q1 2021. Our on-time delivery rate is at 92% in Q3 2022 versus 80% one year ago. Our average time to door has seen a five-day improvement in top markets year two, Q3 2022. Our refund rates have declined 34% year to Q3 2022. Finally, merchant and customer NPS satisfaction rates have seen steady improvement year over year. And these are just some of the positive trends we are seeing following the implementation of the turnaround strategies earlier this year. We're moving in the right direction and we are excited to bring our merchant community along on this journey. Total revenues in Q3 were $125 million, a decline of 66% year over year. The decline was across core marketplace, product boost, and logistics. The revenue performance was attributable to lower marketing spend, as mentioned above. 
and the new pricing practice implemented through Q1 and Q2 this year. We expected those pricing changes to drive better customer engagement and the pricing transparency with our merchants. But for the near term, they create downward pressure on both revenues and the profits. We believe that the high inflation rates and the market uncertainty in most of our buyer markets, particularly the European markets, also contributed to the revenue decline year over year. Our adjusted EBITDA in Q3 was a loss of $95 million, which was favorable compared to our previous guidance of a loss of $110 million to $130 million. Our balance sheet remains healthy with a balance of $837 million of cash, cash equivalents, and marketable securities, and no short-term or long-term debt. Our Q3 free cash flow was a negative $100 million, a significant improvement from a negative free cash flow of $344 million last year. Finally, in 2023, we intend to continue focusing on our strategic turnaround priorities. On the operations side, we will continue to improve the Wish platform with our focused customer segments in mind, build category management and merchandising strengths to best showcase our core product categories, invest in strategic markets, both emerging and new, to drive sustainable growth and more diverse supplies and increase the strengths of our platform's core capabilities, including tools and features for merchants. On the financial side, we will focus on unit economics to help ensure a continued solid financial foundation for Wish. Continue to optimize cash flows so that our marketplace can drive sustainable growth for our merchants and provide a fun discovery-based shopping experiences for buyers. Thank you again for taking the time to attend the 2022 Merchant Summit. Our merchants are not only our partners in this journey, but also our customers. Your success is our success, and we are dedicated to ensuring that our merchants not only have the best experience selling on Wish, but also that our merchants succeed and grow with us. Thank you.